last one. No, it's not the last. It is the last one, Peter. That's it. That's three years of digging through that pile and making that thing, that thing, and that was. And that's all that's left of a very, 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 very old home. If we really want to. Roof of an old home. We could take the table saw to that and we could make a barnwood wall. Heck. Watch yeah. out. But we're not gonna. So we need to. I think we're ready to go. Just need to calculate how much soil we need. Yeah, we need to figure that out. I don't. Yeah. Let's see, we probably can only carry let's three see, two, yards. Maybe th three. I think that's what we got last time. Threes. And I think a we'll lot. use every I bit of three. All that. Yeah. We forgot to do a very important test yesterday. Yeah. Let's push this around the perimeter and see if she fits. Test it out. What do you think? I think she'll go. I think it'll go. No. Spreading my compost. Turn to my corner. Oh! Oh yeah. What? Let's take it faster. No. What's it called when you make the edges like this? Yeah, uh, chamfered, chamfered or beveled. Ha, <laughs> it goes all the way around. Wow. This fun. is so awesome. That's fun. I'm happy with that. Good job. Good planning. That's good. So we're not planning on going all the way down to the ground. We do have some wood, or what's it yeah, called, bark? Bark and sawdust. Bark and sawdust that we're gonna put, because- For filler. I don't think any roots go down that deep. Dude, Most roots- If we get a 16 inch long carrot, that'd be insane. Oh my God, that'd be insane. <laughs> Most roots stick within the top, probably four to six inches. Yeah. Maybe deeper stuff a foot. So we do want these beds to be a little deeper than these. These are fairly shallow, but you can't deny how much food we grew. Um, well, we dumped a bunch of bark in there that we had from like the sawmill and yep. firewood and stuff, and it was good to use it up. So it yeah. took up space, it'll compost over the next 20 years. You guys will see that later today. Um, but because of that, and there's a lot of air gaps because the bark's kind of shaped like this, it settles. Oh yeah. Just... So we're gonna need to add a bit of soil to our other beds too. Yeah, we may have to get more than one load. Probably. So this is about 16 inches. Let's say we add this much soil, 12 inches. I think that's pretty right. good. We can easily fill up four inches of, so of sawdust. Yep. And bark. We have way more sawdust than we need. What we're trying to figure out is how many yards of soil. And three by th a yard is three by three by three. Let's go four by eight. That's 32 cubic feet divided by 27 is 1.2 cubic yards. So there's 1.2, 1.2. So that's 2.4. Yeah. So we're already getting close. And then this one's three by five divided by 27 is 0.6. So that's three yards on the dock. Oof. So maybe we should fill with a little bit more sawdust and then we'll have a little extra soil and it's gonna settle a little bit because when they pick it up well, with the bucket it's I think we're gonna want to go get more because we have all of these black oh, bins to fill. Yep, you're and right. And we do want to keep these our deep beds so I'd rather yep. have a lot more soil in case we okay. do want to grow a 16 inch long carrot. Right. <laughs> so I think let's just go get three yards. Yep, let's do three and see where we're at. And see where we're at. Well and we need to top these beds too with at yep. least like four inches so we need more so. dirt. But that's okay. I think if we do the bulk of it and we're left to filling, you know, the pots, yep. we can do, we did that in bags last year. But oh, I we did. I believe it's like, it's probably three times more it's expensive. It's very expensive but by the bag. if you only need, you know, a few gallons, it's worth it. It's worth it. Just go to the store where you can get it now. You don't have to get a trailer. You can haul it home in the car, grab milk but and But I have eggs. a hunch if we have a yard of extra soil, we could find somewhere to put it. Yep. And I think it'll be used. I don't know. Yeah, we'll start with three, see where we're at. Sounds good. Guys, I don't have a lot of say in the garden. But one thing I do have say in is how soon the garden is ready to plant. If you haven't noticed, we have a little bun in the oven. And my hunch is that when that bun starts to pop, not a whole heck of a lot's going to get done around here. Okay. So I'm thinking get the garden ready to plant right now. Because if I have to do the planting, <laughs> I want all the odds stacked in my favor. All you have to do is put seeds in dirt and follow my map. If I can follow Alyssa's instructions, the chances of the garden getting sabotaged at this early stage is, is minimized. Meep meep. Meep meep. Mom, one last level. Mom, wait, I'll die. I'll, I'll put it down when I die. Mom, mom, mom. trip. So we thought we'd be able to get soil locally and it turns out 
There's no soil locally. There's no soil in Idaho. So There's we no had potatoes. to drive way too far, and we got <laughs> two yards of soil, no compost, except small technical issue with the trailer. I wouldn't say we pushed the limits of the trailer. No. We just discovered through the weight of the soil that we had an ish a different issue. Oh. Well. It's been rubbing for a while, actually, so. Crap. Oh yeah, she's toasty. Wow, that sucks. So the, the leaf is giving us fits, like it's got a little keeper that holds the leaf in place and it was out of place, so we jacked it up and did all this rigmarole at the nursery. <laughs> we thought we had it good, but yeah, it looks like we've been rubbing for a while on there, on the fender, which is weird because the trailer is all loaded on, on that the other side. side. <laughs> so, so, and then it's been, it's been <sighs> pouring cats and dogs the whole time. You know, I should have known because Murphy's Law says that when it's raining sideways and it's dark outside, that's when you're gonna get a flat tire. And the Race. good news is no flat tires to, to report. The bad news is, I don't think this soil is as light as they think it is. I, normally it's about a thousand or 2,000 pounds or one ton per yard. We normally put 4,000 pounds in this trailer and it's no big deal. That dirt does not weigh 4,000 pounds. So I think that stuff's got a lot of water in it. And well, this is the adventure. We did a little bit of research and we were kind of curious whether on the excavator we can turn the bucket around and use it like a shovel. Um, that would allow us to basically scoop that stuff out of the trailer with minimal backbreaking work, at least until it gets to the garden. It doesn't look to me like you can on this one. Based on how this hinges, I know we can just pull this pin and rotate the knuckle out. The question is, will it spin around? And I don't, I don't see anywhere for the pin on to happen, so I say let's try it. Come on, excavator. You gotta be a really useful tool to be around here. It's not 9 16 for sure, and it's not half. Although, let's take a half just, just for funsies. Here's a 5 eighths and a half. You know, if it's not half, it's gotta be 9 16 5 eighths is way too big. There's a half and a 9 16 in one wrench. How about that? Sweet. A lot of guys use those clevis pins in here, but then when you're digging, they fall out and then you lose the pin in the yeah. hole. Now you end up spending your day finding a pin instead of digging a hole. Pretty heavy. Let me try putting this in here. Okay. Uh, there you go. That's, that's hooked in right there. I don't see how it's gonna stay in there though. Like how's that supposed to stay, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. There's no pin, there's, there's nowhere nothing, for the there's pin to go. To pin it. So like works kind of. That. I think that's the answer. Like won't work. Well, we might just have to use good old back labor. No, I think we can make this work too. I can just reach over the front of the trailer, so we'll just have to unhitch the trailer and put some wood blocks in front of it. It'll still be a little bit more wheelbarrowing, but I think right. that's less less overall labor than shoveling three or two yards of, of dirt by, I mean, maybe you want to shovel to remind yourself how much work it no, is. No, I to, don't. <laughs> my memory's pretty good. Okay, so our goal today, we're not gonna go all the way to the top with the soil we have. We're gonna kinda spread the love. And then if we have time this evening or tomorrow, we're gonna go pick up compost, which is available locally, and we'll top off the beds from there. So it's gonna be, it's a layered strategy. Goal number two, because I don't have a lot of mobility right now and I'm not comfortable doing too much physical labor, we're gonna challenge ourselves to use the equipment as much as possible. It's not that we're lazy, we're far from. We have so much energy that we want to do as much work as we possibly can, but some things could be made easier with equipment. Here's all that sawdust. I think it's really hard to tell on camera, but this is probably a few yards of sawdust. Like this is insane. And the nice thing is I'd say it's already partially broken down because it's been sitting here for two years. Right here? Yeah, remember the last time we did this, we like destroyed our other wheel cart. Right, but this one's more sturdy. Nice. Yeah, one more of those, that should fill her up. Okay. Booyah. I'll go dump this. Okay. 
what I want to be mindful of in this bed okay. is not having stuff curling up. Flat, so flat, flat in the bottom. Try to try to keep it flat, yeah. How's that? Good. Perfect. Oh yeah, didn't drop, didn't miss a piece. Nice. I think we could fit that in this last load. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not that good yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> That'll take us way longer. Hey, I'm not enough. judging. But you know, it's not, I think it's easy for people to say, well, you could have shaved yourself in time. It's like, but we just saved like 25 minutes doing three loads to so take the five minutes right. to pick up a little bit. Like, I think a lot of people think that an excavator means you don't have to shovel anymore. It just means you don't have to shovel as, as much. Because when you get close to things and stuff, like the tool can't do everything. So yep. it's easy to thumb your nose at tools, but it's about less work, not no work. Pretty good. Tell me it's not satisfying cleaning up our property while building building a garden. What I love about this, like we have a a way to get rid of waste for most everything on our property. I'm really proud of how little we take to the landfill. Yep. And how much we maximize. A lot of this will get squished down when we put. Uh, sawdust in there. Step one, complete. Sawdust? I'm sawdust. We did about a bucket of bark per bed-ish or so. Oh uh, yeah. So probably about the same, maybe more. I think let's try the durability of our beds and uh -huh. just dump the sawdust in the bed and then let's spread it. We could try, yeah, like, if you could get it up there. Instead of just even. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really satisfying. Oh yeah, like uh, butter. Look at all that. Look at all that organic. Bed. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's orange. Kind of looks like what comes out of the juicer when you juice carrots. It does. to dump and do more runs. So do you want to do two buckets or one? Let's just do one bucket for okay. a run, yeah. Oh, come on. Something always gets me. Heave. Yeah, one's probably good. More repetition, less weight. Yep. Nice. Heck yeah. So I think Probably three backhoe buckets. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Or, or somewhere in there. Wow. That's probably good. That's probably good. Dust. Check. 
Looks incredible. Yeah. Good looking beds. Got this guy filled. So what do you think? We have probably an hour and a half before we need to leave if, if we're going to dinner. Yeah. And it's starting to rain. It's starting to pour, yeah. But in theory, all we have left is soil. That's the main Two yards problem. of soil. Yep. So if we get that done, that's a huge put our step forward. Up, yep. Get through the rain. Do you want to try? Let's try. Okay. See what happens. The mini's definitely taking like 50%, 80% of the labor out. So it's spring, and this is yep. the weather for yeah. the next week. It's so gonna... it's not like it's going to be sunny tomorrow. <laughs> nope. nope. Never really know. Roll the dice, straight. That's how it is. Last year we lost two cameras doing this all in one yep. day. It was a very productive day and a very expensive day at we'll the probably, same time. Probably put this guy away. Probably have to. This one's more expensive. We found out this that is our they're... sacrificial camera. We found out that these are water sealed, but they're not waterproof. Apparently there's a right. difference. We sent it in because it wasn't working and they're like, oh, it's all corroded inside. We're just like, like oh. it was rained on once. <laughs> Thought that was okay. My bad. We misread the packaging. Yep. bucket per? I would say yeah let's just it's gonna be a lot easier to do more reps. Okay I'll try this see how this feels. Okay. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I'm okay with doing most of this work if it's not good for you. It's not the best. If you want to help spread it. I could do that. That would help. Nice this will go quick. Oh for a little while. Excavator's not going to do all of it, but it's going to save us some effort. Beautiful. Okay, a couple more. Five? Five. Five. Wow, way to hustle. Okay, so made a phone call and it sounds like we can go get compost. They're willing to wait for us, okay. even though they close at five. So yep. we'll be a couple minutes late, but yeah, I say go get a couple yards of that and then we have it for tomorrow. Yeah, they're closed tomorrow, so we can get Sunday. this thing finished up. Can't do nothing on Sunday, so. We can get farther. We still have a little bit to go, but I think the bulk of the work is done. Now, we might bring a little bit of soil in by bag, which won't be painless. Yep. You know what? We. They're pretty good. That's, that's pretty dang like good. 90%. If you complain about shoveling that. That's like 90% of the dirt in this thing. Is, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Way to go, excavator. All right. Okay. Let's get out of here. Up and get out of here.
has it. Yeah. So we have, you think, a couple more wheelbarrows full? Three more, maybe? Probably about three. I mean, ish. They're not full, obviously. It's about all you can move. Are we gonna put that in pots, or what do you? I, mean, I think that's yeah. what we're thinking. So this morning we bought a couple bales of so like a soil blend. Yeah. That we were thinking we'd use to fill our pots up, but now that we have this left over, which what's in the trailer is kind of a soil compost mix. Yeah. I say we fill the pots with like a foot of sawdust or whatever. Well, you know. If we keep the bales too, if you want to add more pots down the road, right? Got soil on or hand. return them. Or return them. Yeah. Right, your bucket's totally full. Okay. Yep, and that's a function of not enough bucket. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So a little trick: if you just wiggle your boom, not your bucket. Sideways. No, like up and down. Like wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yep, like that. Too much. You feel those rocks? It's too much. Good. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up putting maybe eight inches or so in each one. Basically leave room for about a foot of soil. So, so many buckets. Mm-hmm, those are big ones. So that's why we didn't need a raised bed last year. Right. Had a lot of buckets. Sorry for the weeds. Right, we can have rainbows without a little bit of rain. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon I me. Got it. If you remember in my garden plan, I plan to put two of these black buckets between the beds because we can always move them if they're in the way and we do want to walk between here. But if we were to build the beds all the way through here, you'd never have the option, right? Let's see how good I did with my math. Oh yeah. Ah. It's perfect. Perfect. Booyah. This is where our torpedo melons are going. The what melons? Torpedo. Ready for another round. Awesome. Yeah, I think one more should do it. I mean, yeah. we have all those buckets. I do plan on filling them up. Oh man. We have so many seeds we haven't even tested. And it's like, I don't really care to grow those, but if we have the space, grow away. Right? Yeah, I see. Uh, or swan gourds. Swan gourds everywhere. If you can dump the weed somewhere else and just the sawdust, that'd be great. I'm not that good yet. <laughs> so that'll fit right there. Think I went overboard with the garden? Are my plans too lofty? I, I don't even want to know how much food's gonna come out of this garden this year. This is ridiculous. Everyone be like, you don't have time for garden this year, you're gonna have a baby. And I'm like, watch, watch me. me, watch Hold me. My... I think it'll be fine because of all the work we've done up front. It's not like we have to sit out here in the sun all day and grow. And like, watch it grow. It grows on its, its own. In the ground, you just put some yep. water on it and come out and check on it once in a while. I'd say the very last thing we have to do that requires a little bit of planning is our watering system. Yep. So that, That's a project. that we need, I need to get on probably in the next couple of weeks. Oh yeah.